Dory, how unique is uh, Tom Brady as an opposing quarterback to face? Um, just the accolades itself. Um, played against them three times before, so um, to you know witness him growing up and then be able to play against him in the league and see the things that he's done um, is for sure. You know, great to watch and great to witness, and I think you know that's what stands apart from him. What, what makes him great? Do you think? Um, I mean, from the outside looking in, don't know him personally. I guess his work ethic and the way he leads, just hearing different stories from different guys who probably play in New England or play with him, and just hearing different stories. So I just think that that nature, the atmosphere, what makes him him, just being a unique competitor and going out there and putting it all on the line. Does he see things that most quarterbacks don't see? I mean, I'm going to say yeah, <laughs> just by speaking off of the things that he's accomplished, you know, the numbers that he put up and different things that he's able to do. So I feel like he sees the game at a different level. I mean, that's why he's considered in the league and, and one of the great, greatest quarterbacks to play the game. Did this break come at a good time for this team? You know, it, you, you take it whenever you get it. Um, you're coming off a win. Sometimes teams want to play again after they come off a win, but it's also week 10. You know, where, where does it set this break to me? Uh, I think the break is good just mentally. Um, you know, aside from physically, obviously you want to get your, your body together. But I think mentally having um, a time to reset and digest what you want to do, what you want to become, and, and things in that nature. So I think mentally a bye week is always great. No matter if you win or lose, um, it's always good to have to reset yourself and, and, and find new goals and keep pushing yourself. How do you think this team will change now, is it, will, or will it? I think just by keep coming in competing, you know, every day fighting and working and understanding that I mean, we, even though we got eight weeks left, we really have one week. You know, we got to take it one week at a time, one day at a time, and just focus on the now. Um, and that's what we preach about. So I think the changes will come through practice and how we approach each day. Uh, you can't look at the bigger picture. You just got to put the little pieces together to get the ultimate picture that you want. Three weeks, what if, three weeks ago, you guys obviously had the Rams game where you struggled. And then three weeks, in the last three games since then, you've played real good defense. I'm curious. Some people have said Coach Graham simplified things. Some people have said Coach Graham took some things out of the playbook, like pared it down a little. What do you point to as the biggest change coaching-wise that's helped the players? Uh, I think us clicking um, together and being cohesive. And I think us understanding the situation that we weren't excelling or, or doing well at, which was you know third down, two minute, and in the red zone, uh, and trying to correct those things. And I think um, by that aspect and us coming together and understanding what we wanted to do and what we needed to do um, to get the job done and it started working for us. Did you actually go home or did you hang around here because it really wasn't a full week to get away? Chilling. I was here. <laughs> get my body right, get my mind right, like I was saying. And um, yeah, just be to myself, you know, not trying to be worried about the outside, just staying in my house, watch a couple TV shows, eating good. And uh, playing some video games, which is you know much needed. What did, the, uh, what did the coaches challenge you to do personally, and what have you improved on maybe the last month or so? Uh, I think the biggest thing that we harp on about is just having that um, that edge, um, being more aggressive, um, about like attacking the ball um, in different natures. You know, just going out there and playing fast. And other than that, you work on that throughout the week in practice. Um, just being comfortable, with being who I am, um, playing fast and playing free. So. Um, you know, you take everything in, you hear everything uh, from what they, they coach you and tell you to do and just try to implement it in practice and keep getting better and constantly improving. You like being coached hard? I love it. I mean, that's the only way that you should want to be coached. I understand that no coach want to put you in a situation to fail. They just want to see you succeed and, and play well. And I, that's how I always look at a coach trying to coach me. That they wouldn't put me out there because it's not just their name on the line the team name on the line, and ultimately, it's me out there. So I, I, at the end of the day, you just got to go out there and prepare yourself and compete. You, know, you look at this team, and obviously the quarterback is what stands out. Who's, who's the biggest threat of receiver in your mind? Who's, who's the guy you got to take? Man, they all lethal. I'm not even going to lie to you. Just watching them play, you know, Tom going to spread the ball out, spread the ball around. So I feel like each receiver has a different asset and a different, different uniqueness to them um, that makes them all you know, go together. It makes them a, a lethal repertoire. And then they have great running backs, too, and the tight end as well. So I feel like they just, you know, like I spoke about Kansas City, they have a lot of weapons around them um, to make them go and make them fire at a high rate. Speaking of Kansas City, how much did you give O'Shane for the, uh, for the uh, offside? No, nah, man, because I, I feel like as a player, if you've been there and you understand certain things, I don't know. I, I take it back to Dick LeBeau. Like, we used to play 
Uh, he used to be like, if somebody did something, gave up a pass or gave up a something, he always had a story that was worse than what we were going through and was able to explain to us, like, I've been in your shoes before, I understand, so you never want to harp or beat down a dead horse or something that's already going bad. He just try to uplift them. At the end of the day, like Coach always says, everybody in that room is going to help us win games in some part uh, through the season. So you just want to lift them up as much as possible because you don't know what you're going through and you don't want to say the wrong thing. You just want to bring them all together because at the end of the day, we're a team. The other day we saw you back out here like catching balls, almost working as a receiver with one of the quarterbacks. Is that something you, that you that they specifically want you to work on and that you've been kind of working on to, you know, sort of? Yeah, I didn't know y'all was out here. Nah, that was just me just working on just trying to catch the ball and, you know, using my hands, really, and attacking the ball. So it's cool to have the quarterbacks. I had Buzz throw me a couple of passes, you know, um, deep balls, and then just was pretty much just get some extra work in, you know, where I can before I went to the crib.